All right, fish fam, I need your help here. Look at my tank today, see if there's any babies, or see if there's any fry. And I noticed these worms on the glass. They're in the very foreground. There's one, actually there's a few. There's one right in the middle of the screen. It's right, there's one right. Actually a bunch of them right above my finger. One there, there's one there. And um, I looked them up, see if I could do some research. And um, I'm not sure if they're either planaria or detritus worms, but they look too small. First off, they're not afraid of the light, like what I think I found that um, planaria is. No, that, yeah, planaria is. And detritus worms, I thought that they're in the substrate, and I don't have that much detritus. It's like three or four fish at a time, and I do water changes, so it shouldn't be uh, detritus worms, but I think they could have hitchhiked on the snails that I got uh, last week or two. But, um, anyways, if I could get your help here to identify it and then let me know how to get rid of it. I know with a planaria I could, um, I've seen traps I can make and try and catch them, which is what I might try first because that's the least invasive thing to do. Um, and if it is a uh, planaria, I know I can use uh, Levamisol, um, but I'm kind of wondering if that's like really worth putting the, if these are really worth putting the the plants and the um, you know, the snails in here are just, they're the regular bladder or whatever p p pond snails, I forget which type they are, but I don't know if it's really worth that. Um, so if I could have your you know, help in identifying these, let me know if I need to worry about getting rid of them or how to get rid of them or if there's some kind of animal that I can put in here that would that would eat them. That would be my first and uh, my first choice would be to get something that would eat it to, to use the ecosystem to take care of the problem. Focusing on this one right here right now if you can see it. But um, so I'm going to change some more focus here. Um, yeah, I'd really appreciate your help. Um, these are not the I guess they're definitely macro invertebrates, obviously. These are not the macro invertebrates, or you know, barely even macro, we can barely see them, but these are not the invertebrates that I was pointing out in the video yesterday. These are not the ones I was trying to get you to guess what they are, but someone did make a comment in my video that they thought they were uh, detritus worms. So I guess that this is what they were seeing. I didn't even see these yesterday when I made that, that video. Um, See if I can get another shot of some more, because they're on the glass right here too, but I think all you're going to see is, yeah, all you can see is gravel. So let me get this focused. Let me back up a little bit. I think the best shot is what I had earlier. Let's see here. There we go. I think this is the best shot is right, these right here that you're seeing. So, anyways, I really appreciate it. If y'all could you just make a comment below or help me out here some send some links my way because they aren't looking like they have a triangular shaped head like what uh, planaria have but they're not really round worm looking like like detritus worms so that's why I'm really uh, confused I mean I guess if you look really closely they could be can maybe call the head a triangle. I don't know. It's just I really can't tell, and I really need your help. And uh, I mean, they look to be about the size of. Uh, let me get some more to focus here. They look to be about the size of like uh, micro worms or. Um, vinegar eels actually. They look to be about that size if that gives you any kind of reference. So anyways, thank you in advance. I really do appreciate it. This is not one of those videos where I'm trying to get subscribers or likes. I really do need comments for the sake of help here. So I really do appreciate it. Thank you to everyone out there who's watching this and knows what to do. 
I have a feeling Charles from Charles Fish Tanks probably will look at this and be like, oh, this is this, and this is what you do. So I'm kind of embarrassed to show this, but I figured I'd rather get over my pride and have a healthy fish tank than worry about what thing I have going, because I know we all have these issues and stuff, so. I mean, the snails don't seem to be, I wish I could get to focus on them again. The snails don't seem to be bothered by them, and they might be too small, so that's why I'm really confused, but, well, there's one, right, right there. So, thank you once again. Have a good day. I'll see most of y'all later on, on on live streams and stuff, so have a good night.